Hey guys, this is Silvio Guacamole bringing you another um, EU Snake Draft game. So this time we've got PCG versus TDK. Uh, this is a really interesting matchup. TDK is the clear favourite going into this. Um, these two guys were 1st and 10th on the power rankings. So it's going to be interesting to see how they match up. Um, as for the teams, they're both rocking kind of cool teams. Um, TDK has what looks to be triple defog with double birds. Um, that's that's crazy. So yeah, likely default Gligar, Moltres, and Articuno, with possibly a block Slowbro or Calm Mind, and looking like Scarf Crook to trap trap threats. Um, no wish support, which is interesting. So uh, Crook and Agron are going to get worn down fairly quickly. As a Pacey's team, uh, standardish looking bulky offense. Um, likely Scarf Crook, Scarf Crook plus um, Arrow for a double pursuit core. Uh, looking like. Defog and Polion, and then Rox Cabalion. Uh, Amoongus is a general general pivot, and then the Apes, the only mystery. It could could be um could be Nasty Plot Z. There's no obvious other Z move user because uh, Cabalion could be Rocky Helmet or Shooker or even Lefties. Um, if that Ape is Nasty Plot, it is going to go in. It, it has a great matchup, and he needs he needs if it's Grass Knot, he needs a little chip on Gligar. Um, if not, he needs damage off on Gligar and Bro, and then it pretty much wins at plus two. Um, if it's if it's Vacuum Wave, then he can uh, kill Crook at plus two as well, it, with a little chip. So, for the leads, we see Empoleon versus Agron. TDK wants to gap his rocks. Agron doesn't do a lot, really. Um, Pacey leads with Empoleon, gets a crit first off, and he defogs as TDK goes into Articuno to waste PP. Okay, that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, we see a... Freeze dry from TDK as Empoleon Toxics. This is this is fine for TDK. Uh, Empoleon only has only 14 Toxics left because obviously Articuno is pressure, and he can actually heal Bell Stall with Toxic. Um, none of the other members of the team are likely to carry Toxic, so there's not really any way that Pacey can wear down TDK's team with Toxic, um, as TDK can stall him out with heal Bells. Uh, so we're likely going to see rocks from Pacey here. Uh, TDK wouldn't want to stay in fearing an Iron Head, and he can pretty freely go Moltres and um, Moltres and either Defog or Scout for Edge if he, think he, if he thinks he's likely to have it. Um, you probably wouldn't have Edge on a team with Scarf Crook, uh, Scarf Crook, Empoleon and Aerodactyl but you know um, we just see yeah we just see the rocks come up as Moltres comes out um, likely to see likely to see either the Empoleon or the Aerodactyl come out on a Defog here yep so he goes so he goes to the Defog as Empoleon comes out um, so we can see a Scold here or a Toxic. Uh, as for Pacey's way of winning this, he kind of has to hope that it's Nasty Plot Ape. I think it. I think it should be. Well, obviously he knows if it's Nasty Plot Ape or not. But um, if it's if it's Nasty Plot Ape, he has a very good shot here. Um, I think it kind of has to be Nasty Plot Ape, otherwise the stool matchup just looks really bad. Um, if it's if it's Nasty Plot Ape, then he needs to try and get chip off on Gligar and Bro. Um, Ape will eat one from Ape will eat one from Slowbro, um, and it can pretty freely set up on Articuno. Um, so if he wants, he can nasty plot the nasty plot again um, on the Slowbro, but he needs a little bit of chip before that'll kill, and then plus three, uh, times three, sorry, plus four will kill will kill Gligar. Um, so at that stage, he pretty much wins if he can get into, if he can get into a position where he's um, where he's at plus four and not dead. Especially if Crook goes down, um, and this is great if he can get. Okay, no, he doesn't get the Giga Drain off. That would have been great damage um, on Crook, so it can't threaten out. It can't threaten out um, Ape in the late game, but Spore works fine as well because that means it's incapacitated for a while, and Articuno isn't going to waste heal bells when it has to use, has to use them to people who still toxic. Um, so Pacey can go for a Pursuit Hero or an Edge. He just goes for the safe Edge. That's an apps That's a fine play. Um, Slowbro, Slowbro can throw out a future site here if it has it, if not, um, I guess he can, I guess, just a free scold, whatever works really, he goes in Polion, and as he doubles out into Agron, uh, TDK isn't really gaining a lot by making this double, um, Empoleon's just gonna, Empoleon's just gonna scold and then defog the next turn, there's not really, there's not really much he can do unless he's trying to get, um, unless he's trying to get Articuno burnt perhaps, so he doesn't, have to waste toxics, but that doesn't really make sense because you can always PP still with heal bell. Um, so we like to see either the rocks come out or a bro Articuno switch from from TDK here. And Pacey goes into Cobalion to get his own rocks up. Um, 
I guess I guess it's a fun play. I'm not really sure how much I agree because because you can get them up um, pretty easily anyway. It's coming in on Articuno for free, um, so you probably could have just defaulted here. Oh, so we see. Okay, so we see hard hard into um hard into crook. Okay, so yeah, 22 defogs left, seven edges left. Um, stalling stalling edges isn't going to happen because if he's clicking edges on a it's on a um it's on a pressure one which is killing anyway. So um, we can see the edge here, or we can see a pursuit. TDK really has no reason to risk, and he's at 100 percent with no rocks, so he can he can he can safely switch. Um, Moltres isn't likely going to be switching in with rocks up either because Moltres is the rock switch and it deals fine with Cabalion. Um, so we see a pursuit come out from Pacey here, which is a fine play. Agree completely. Um, we're probably going to see the Empoleon come out, and TDK can maybe double out into Articuno. Or yep, he doubles out into Articuno. That's that's a fine play. Um, so we're going to see a freeze dry. For, we're going to see a freeze dry here. He can go to Cabalion and set them up, or he can stay in. Um, and toxic. He doesn't really gain a lot from this. Although I guess if he wants to get in, um, get in uh, arrow. Yep, he forces a heal bell. That's fine. Um, means he doesn't take take any chip on arrow, which is which is great. So five heal bells left. Um, Empoleon has what ten toxics. So yeah, it's stalling it out fine. Um, what do we see here? We see an edge which misses. It would have done about four anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Agron's just gonna lay out the rocks here. Pacey's forced out, um, and he probably goes either into Cabalion. Into Cabalion or, M or Amoongus, I would have thought. Actually, no, Amoongus straight up loses. So Cabalion or Tentacruel, maybe? Not Tentacruel, Empoleon. Cabalion or Empoleon. Sorry, it's confusing. Such similar names. Um, he could also, I guess, go Crook to get off the Intimidate and then go out into um, then go out into one of the two, just so if the Agron is EQ, um, which it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Um... Yeah, a lot of the a lot of stall aggrons have been foregoing EQ for sets like um, heavy slam, rocks, fire punch, and toxic recently. So it doesn't it really doesn't have to be EQ. So he can probably go hard and pearly on here. I'm I'm assuming Pacey's thinking the same, and it's not EQ. Uh, so we're probably going to see a defog um, on the Articuno. If if TDK can keep this aggron at aggron at sixty aggron at sixty percent, he might be um he might be able to stall out. To stall out defogs from Empoleon eventually, as Doc's showing us, he has 22, 20 left. So um, it's it'll be really tough, but it's possible for TDK. Um, we see a freeze dry come out as Empoleon reveals the last move is Raw. Um, so TDK gets brought out into Crook. We're probably going to see um, either a knock here or a safe EQ. Pacey can Pacey can go. Arrow if he wants to risk it, um, or he can, or he can go. Amoongus, Amoongus is a fine player here as well, because um, you can scout for what he locks into. Uh, he, yeah, yeah, you just, you just scout what he's locked into. You heal it all back with regen anyway. Yep. So he goes Amoongus on the EQ. This gives him a uh, free arrow. So TDK can um, predict that and go hard. Um, go hard into Gligar. Gligar isn't doing a lot, so Gligar is a fine spore fodder as well. Um, yeah, Gligar works as a play here or into Agron. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, TDK EQs there on the spore. I'm not entirely sure why he made that play because if Pacey giggers here, it gets really bad for Ape for um, potential nasty for Ape in the late game. So I don't agree with that play at all. Um, Pacey gets in edge. Oh, he edges. TDK stays in, trying to get off chip on Cobra, and that's huge. Um, Articuno, Articuno was a real annoyance for Pacey. Uh, just annoying Empoleon, um, stalling out of Toxics, and now, um, and now TDK has no heal bell. So if Empoleon manages to get off Toxic on Slowbro and it's not Rest or Moltres, that's it's staying Toxic and it's getting whittled down. Um, so we see Gligar coming now, which is a fine switch to a uh, fine switch to. Um, Crocodile, it's a curse Gligar, which is really interesting. Um, that's not a set, not a set we've seen much before. As you can see, chat's going crazy at that. Spacey goats, goat spam, brilliant. So um, we're possibly going to see the Amoongus come out here because he can go for, he can go for clear smog or, yeah, yeah, he has to go for a clear smog really because the um, because the crocodile's uh, spored. 
so we're likely going to see that or if he has aqua tail or ice fang on the arrow he can go out into that because tdk is likely walled by arrow um so either of those plays work uh pacey can predict the amoongus to come in um any q or he can predict the arrow to come in and curse again because at plus two aqua tail if it's aqua tail or ice fang if it's, if it's ice fang um aren't doing a lot to gligar and you can kind of boost up on it i think i don't know that calc for sure because um because yeah curse gligar is is not very common at all uh, Gligar in itself isn't the most common. Obviously, we've seen it a little bit um, at the start of Snake and the later rounds of Open, but in the weeks leading up to it, it was a, it was an unworn, frankly. Um, but yeah, it's been gaining some traction, so it's cool to see TDK uh, innovating with the Curse Gligar. Well, I have to try it out. So yep, he goes Amoongus on an on an EQ. Okay, it does it does thirty, which means that Pacey kind of has to go kind of has to go error here. He doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want to lose um, to Gygar. Actually, actually, he's not forced to go. He's not forced to go error here. No, um, no, Amoongus will be outsped, so he has to go error. Sorry, sorry for flip flapping around. Um, yeah, if it's if if he thinks he outspeeds, he can click clear smog here, live the next EQ, and then go into error to start pressuring it and get a little regen back. Um, or if he doesn't, he just has to go hard error now. I think hard error is probably the safest play because you don't know how much how much speed investment Gligar has. It could be um could be a fast curse Gligar. But yeah. Uh yeah, obviously that's unlikely, but it but it could be uh could be Gligar with some with some um some speed investment. Um yeah obviously uh obviously a lot of a lot of the stall Gligars are quite fast for stuff like Hera. Um but yeah we're likely to see the error come out here and um Gligar can Gligar can uh EQ again, or if he wants to predict the arrow, he can curse up. Um, Pacey doesn't really have a play here apart from apart from to go arrow, so I could understand the curse play from TDK's part. Does he curse or does he he EQs? Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, now he can pretty safely go into bro, or he can stay in if he thinks it's um thinks Pacey's trying to bluff the Ice Fang or EQ. Okay, he curses again on the Amoongus. Um, the Amoongus almost definitely outspeeds now, so if he has clear smog, he goes for it. Yep, it didn't outspeed. Okay, I'm talking out of my arse, but it lived. Um, it lived EQ, so it was fine. Um, we see a curse here from we see a curse here from TDK as Pacey goes out into into error. Yeah, sorry for um, underestimating how how fast the uh, how fast Gligar is. Um, we see an Aquatel crit there, which is really bad for TD uh, for uh, TDK. That's just an awful turn. Um, yeah, chat doesn't like that either. That's an awful turn. Um, Aquatel would have done very little damage had he not got the crit. So, yeah, it's 76 divided by 2.25 is not a lot. Around around 30%, uh, which is zero, frankly. Yeah, 35, uh, between 30 and 35%, I'm saying. Um, we see the Aquatel again on Agron, which is nice chip. Yeah, Pacey got, Pacey got very lucky there. Um, so we see the rocks come out. Uh, TDK now can no longer stall out defogs because his um because his pressure his pressure mon is threatened pretty hard by Empoleon. So it looks like it is that um it looks like it is the five punch toxic toxic heavy slam rock set that we've been seeing a little bit on stall. It's rest okay okay all right okay um so heavy slam rocks five punch and rest looking like so we see Slowbro come out on Infernape. Uh, Pacey trying to use the Infernape to um trying to use the sleeping Agron to as setup fodder. Uh, TDK not allowing that by going slow break. Great play on his part. Um, we see a toxic mess on Agron. Absolutely fine. Um, Empoleon can get up the rocks now. Uh, or yep, or he can go Cobalion to get up his own rocks and uh, threaten the threaten the Agron with about thirty percent. Um, so yeah, we see the we see the rocks come out. Moltres is likely gonna roost or um defog goes for the fog as uh. As Crocodile comes out, so this is a 50/50. He can um, he can pursue on he can pursue on a predicted switch, do 40 as we saw earlier, and um, leave the mulches in range of um, pretty much anything, like in range of a clear smoke from a Moongus at 50, um, at 15. Or he can um, or he can edge. I feel like okay, he knocks. Uh, I'm I'm not sure about that play. I feel like you either edge or pursue there, um, but. TDK's Moltres surrounds itself with its Z power and kills the Crocodile in one. Uh, so that's a defensive 
Z Z Hurricane Moltres, which is interesting. That got bopped. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see we're gonna see Aero come out here. If it's Pursuit, he goes for it. If not, um, Z Fat will tell. I'm pretty sure Pursuit will kill from this range. Yeah, so Defog, Hurricane, Flame, and Roost, I guess. So no Toxic on this Moltres, which is actually really nice for, um, which is kind of nice, nice for the Ape, which means that, okay, no, it's not. That's rubbish. Um, it's not nice for the Ape. It means he could have could have set up on a Hurricane Miss. Um, but yeah, it's not reliable at all. So we're going to see, we're going to see Aero come out almost 100% and um, get off a Pursuit or an Aquatel. I don't really know what pace he's thinking about, to be honest. He's probably trying to, um, he's probably working out how he gets into posi into a position where, gets into a position where Infernate wins this. Um, depending on the set, it's kind of walled by different stuff. So, if he, um, if it's, if it's Grass Knot, then it gets rid of, it gets rid of Bro. And if it's, um, Vacuum Wave, it gets rid of Crook. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think Crook is in range yet. But yeah, we see the arrow come out, we're going to see a pursuit, most likely. Um, I don't think it's in range yet. Okay, we don't see a pursuit. We just see a hard stone edge crit on Slowbro. Okay, does this area not have pursuit then? You'd, you'd think on this on this team it would be pursuit because of the um because of how well that synergizes with um how well it synergizes with nasty plot infernate removing ghosts removing stuff like Lati which just outright destroys ape removing Chandler as well. Um, so yeah, we see a Toxic as TDK goes into Agron to burn some sleep turns. Um, this is fine. We now know that the Agron beats, um, Pacey's and Polio on 1v1. So, yep. Yeah, uh, Pacey doesn't want to stay in here. This is a free nasty plot. Um, TDK could have doubled there again to prevent the, um, to prevent it from coming out. So we see a nasty plot here. Um, we're either going to see, we're either going to see a Grass Knot if it is Grass Knot or another... Nasty plot, or he can, or he can, or he can switch out into something like his Empoleon or his Amoongus here. Um, the fact that it's not the fact that he nasty plotted when there's a full health throw, full health slowbro in the back, um, kind of makes me think that, um, kind of makes me think that it's it's grass not, but it doesn't it doesn't have to be. Um, as for TDK, as for TDK's play here, he can either future sight if he has it, but he probably doesn't because he didn't click it earlier. Um, or he can Toxic. Uh, I'm not sure if Scold would put um, Inferno from Blaze range. It probably would. Um, so that's something to watch out for. If uh, TDK goes for a Scold and it puts it in Blaze, um, this could be pretty bad. Okay, he goes for a Scold on a Nasty Plot and yeah, that's in Blaze. Um, so, okay, so it's likely not Grass Knot, it's likely Vac, Vacuum Wave. And um, I think TDK is just about to lose to this. Uh, the Calcon Slowbro is, um, from, from plus four Blaze is 106 min, assuming it's standard, um, standard physically defensive, uh, Slowbro. Um, obviously the Z-move killed, but, um, Fire Blast kills as well, uh, it does 106 min, so he just has to risk, uh, he has to risk two Fire Blasts here. No, he has to risk three Fire Blasts, so if he hits all of them, he straight up wins. Um, either way, this is looking really good for, either way, this is looking really good for Pacey, because, um, if not, like, Amoongus does very well versus the rest of the team, because both of the birds are gone. So, yeah, we see, uh, we see a Fire Blast, and it does kill, it does kill. Um, he goes 19% Gligar, trying to, trying to get a miss in EQ, but, yeah, this is about to drop as well, assuming that he connects. Um, then Pacey can just go, can just go, um, you can go hard into either Cobra if it kills or go Aero, um, because Cobra does very well versus the rest of the team as well if this guy guy is left, um, if this guy guy is left on 20%. So, we're going to see, um, if Vacuum Wave kills here, he's going to go for it. Um, if not, he'll Fire Blast. I imagine Pacey's just calking Vacuum Wave now. Yeah, Hikari in the chat saying um, min roll is 102% on Slowbro. Uh, I th I think it's 106% off the top of my head. Um, someone did the calc earlier, but uh, yeah. So 
Yeah, so we're likely to see a fire blast come out here from um, Pacey. I, there's not a lot TDK can do here. Um, Infernape, Infernape had a great matchup, and uh, Pacey played this really well. To be fair to him, uh, yeah, sorry for doubting you. <laughs> he, um, he, yeah, he, he, he played this match fantastically, um, and it looks like he's going to win, even if, uh, even if, even if this misses, unless he misses two in a row. Because if Gaga manages to roost up and then EQ, TDK might be able to do something, but mm, probably not. It's looking very bad. Uh, Pacey's timer dipping to 30%. Looks like that's the win con for TDK. And he hits, he hits the fire blast. So yeah, timer is the win con. Um, TDK forfeits and Pacey wins. So yeah, uh, great game. Well done to Pacey for picking up his first win. His first win in the UU tier in his first competitive game in the UU tier versus TDK, which is a fantastic achievement. So yeah, this was a really good game. Um, good to see the Grody stall get bopped. Uh, yeah all right so i'll see you guys next time uh hope you enjoyed remember to like uh sub if you haven't already and yeah peace